Hey everybody, Goosens for Dummies here, and today we're going to be talking about something a little unusual, as Dr. Brewer said in the TV episode. Um, Goosebumps books. Wow. Now, that's normal, right? What about lost Goosebumps books? Okay. Still kind of normal, right? You know, an incredible shrinking fifth grader, which we'll actually talk about a bit in this video, kind of. Um, triple header book two. Yeah, that's normal. We talk about those, you know. They're lost books. We never got to read them. We never got to see what the stories were about exactly. We never really got them. Or did we? We might have. <laughs> so, Goosebumps Lost. Goosebumps. Goosebumps Books Lost. Goosebumps. Today we're going to be talking about the six novella series, as Completionist calls it, which is a series of six Goosebumps novels. I only own two because I'm looking for original prints, but they're very easy to get online. I'm serious, they're actually not at hard at all if you want them. Uh, I'll explain the printing details later, though. It's a series of six books, usually looking like this, with some Jacobus art. And um, they are believed to be lost Goosebumps stories. And strong evidence for this supports um, at least one of these being true, this one. And this isn't even just evidence, like strong evidence, this is genuine facts. This is The Incredible Shrinking Fifth Grader, Goosebumps Series 2000, number 26. This would have come out right after Ghosts in the Mirror. As we know, that never happened, did it? Kind of did, though. So, Stein confirmed on, uh, I believe, Twitter a couple years ago, I think 2019, that this was, in fact, the story that was for Incredible Shrinking Fifth Grader. Which means, this is Incredible Shrinking Fifth Grader. <laughs> Lucky enough, I actually have read through this, and this is surprisingly good. Like, one of the best shrinking stories, if this were to be Goosebumps, of course. But it, it kind of is still. And if you want to read them, yeah, they technically are Goosebumps books. But I'll clarify one in a minute. <laughs> There's a lot to go over. This is why we believe the six novellas that we're about to discuss are in fact Lost Goosebumps books. So there's kind of a reasoning, because at least one of them is 100% confirmed to be true. This is The Incredible Shrinking Fifth Grader. And yeah, it's pretty good in my opinion. But we're not doing reviews. We're talking about the fuck these are. So what are the six novellas? Well, they go under the names, The Adventures of Shrink Man, like I just showed, Creatures from Beyond Beyond. Then we have The 13th Warning, Zombie Town, which you might recognize as the new Goosebumps, well not Goosebumps Stein related movie. Yeah, we got a Goosebumps book movie, technically, if that turns out to be true, which is kind of insane. Which makes that sort of Goosebumps. Which means we have a Goosebumps movie free. It's kind of weird, but either way. Yeah, Zombie Town, 13th Warning, like I said, those two. We also have Free Faces of Me, but there's something about it I'll get to in a minute that might make this the five novellas. And we also have My Alien Parents pretty weird so all of these roughly the same length i believe and um they all sound goosebumpy enough right they got goosebumps-esque names you know zombie town sounds like something in a goosebumps 14th warning does this kind of kinda and sadly of course i haven't read all of these so i wouldn't quite know how goosebumpy they are but i can at least confirm that these two definitely feel like goosebumps zombie town should probably be a goosebumps story it sounds like it it looks like it it's perfect for a goosebumps story 13th Warning sounds like Goosebumps. My Alien Parents could be a short story or something. Maybe for Tales Book 7 or, you know, Triple Header Free. We'll get to that in a minute. And, um, Free Faces of Me, however, that is not actually a Goosebumps book. And this is now confirmed. Um, now I'm not quite sure on the source or anything, but I just know that this is not actually a Goosebumps story, a lost Goosebumps story at least, because this is actually a reprinting or, or, you know, republishing, whatever, of, you know, oh well, you probably don't know. The Adventures of Me, Myself, and I? It, it's a weird title, and I don't think that was even the original title. Either way, it's just a reprint of another R.L. Stein story that came out before Goosebumps did, I believe. So, yeah, um, if it's literally a story that existed before Goosebumps was around, just reprinted and rewrapped, then that is not a Goosebumps story, which is a bummer. But uh, besides that, we still have five to go over. Let's talk about this. Obviously, this is a Series 2000 book, and this is potentially a short story. I feel like there's enough to go in here, sorry, to go from here to make it feel like a short story. 
Um, some chapters could be cut out, uh, oh, well, oh, well, hella shortened, because this is stretched up to 96 pages, roughly. Yeah, nearly on the dot, man. 95 pages. And, um, it feels like it could be a short story. I'm not gonna spoil anything about the books, but this one at least, yeah, definitely a triple header story, because I don't think it's short enough to be a Tales story, but definitely a triple header. I feel like that could work. Uh, Zombie Town is believed to be a Series 2000 book. I think that one makes sense. It sounds like something that would fit in Series 2000 because we already have Scream School and Fright Camp. We also have My Alien Parents. Okay, no. <laughs> That's obviously a short story. There's no way anybody could read a whole fucking book about that shit. It doesn't sound like it would be a very long read. We also have um, our last one here, The 13th Warning. I think this could easily be a short story. Uh, at least that's what Completionist said, I believe. I, yeah, I can't really expand much upon it, because I don't even know what the fuck it's about. I've never read it. <laughs> I don't own it, so. Trying to get the original printings, which is what we're moving on to now. So, obviously, some of these are triple header stories, more than likely. And some of these are full-fledged series to thousands, like this one. I mean, that's what I can confirm, and this one just really feels like a series to thousand full-fledged cook. You know, 120 pages. Even if that was only 90. And then this feels like a short story because there's not a whole lot going on. There's still a lot, but it's not as chaotic of a plot. Now, what about printings? Yeah. <laughs> this is interesting because this these are actually really easy to get your hands on. And I strongly recommend you guys just go this easy route. It's way easier. And I'm, I took the hard route like a little bitch. Um, trying to get the original printings. And honestly, I think the actual pre- Sorry, the reprintings that are easier to get look cooler, which is stupid. I don't know why I decided to go this route, but fuck it. We're already too deep into this. I paid like 20 bucks for this, so yeah. So this, as you can see, well, you don't know yet, is an original printing. This is first printing that came out in like 2000, like September of 2000, I believe. Uh, yeah, September 2000 on the dot. And um, there is another version of these out there, all of these, I believe, every single one of them, even the non-Goosebumps one, as we confirmed, uh, three faces of me, that has a different font for R.L. Stein, and this one is so easy to find. It You can find them for, like, four bucks on eBay. Just go on there, buy them all for, like, 20 bucks. It is gonna be a no pro fucking blame -o. They're so easy to get. It's kind of sad that I went this route. If you want the OG reprints, this is the route to go, man. Um, <laughs> but if you want them just easy to read them, you don't care. Just look for the more jagged version of the font. I might have popped an image. I might have not. I'm too fucking lazy, probably. But yeah, look for a jagged font of R.L. Stein. Or just look for, you know, a really cheap fucking listing on eBay. I don't think they made Indians, so do not worry about that. And yeah, um, six novellas. Basically, Goosebumps books kind of lost. There's even a movie about one of them. I think we could get more movies. There's one of them that's completely confirmed to be a Goosebumps book. Incredible Shrinking Fifth Grader. Now I'd call it The Adventures of Shrink Man. And uh, yeah, one of them isn't quite a Goosebumps book, but it's still in there for some reason. So there might be something Goosebumps related with it. We don't really know. It could be a Fear Street book for all I fucking know. I fucking doubt it. No, that's a stupid theory. Anyways, yeah. Uh, that's going to conclude this video. Hope your uh, brains have expanded in Goosebumps knowledge. These are things that exist, and they are basically Goosebumps. And there's basically a Goosebumps free. So check out Zombie Town. It's kind of Goosebumps free. Because it's technically based off a real Goosebumps story. That turns out to actually be a lost story. Yeah, complicated. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll see you guys in the next one. I recommend you go check out Completionist Reviews for these because that's how I found out about them and that's how I got so invested in fucking getting them. God damn. And yeah, so far they've been 10 out of 10s. Both of them probably. Well, Shrink Man's more like a 9.5, but they're both really good to who I've read. So yeah, uh, see you guys in the next one. Bye.